Hi friends, what's this Kinter window? In this window, we have a tree view and we are displaying date, rows of data, around 30, 35 rows are there and we have taken from different, different sources. Every time we use one data source, then in another, uh, we comment that section and use another different data source. Like that, we had around five data sources to be discussed. In the part one, we finished uh, two. The first we started with CSV file and then we have moved to Excel. So right now we will discuss in this uh, part 2 of this, we will we'll discuss about how we can take data from a data frame, Panda's data frame, then we will move to MySQL and then we will use SQLite. The same data from different different sources we are trying. The last three part we will discuss it here. Visit this URL. The link is available at the description. Here the sample student Excel file you can download or you can download the CSV file of the same table. Now you can create the uh, data frame by cop just copying the data and you can also create uh, uh, here is the MySQL SQL dump. So you can create your student table in the MySQL database or if you want to use the SQLite database as data source, the same student table, here you can visit and create the table. We left it here in our previous tutorial where we have used the Excel here. So now this part will comment it. So I am removing this part and here it ends. So now this uh, now we'll introduce our pandas data frame so now no data source is there and just to uh, tell you revise the previously we had discussed how this tree view is inserted and here are the two variables we are collecting one is l1 and another one is a record set or r set or the set of rows of list of rows of data so these two variables from different sources we are taking and using this code anyway to uh, display the tree view so now how you are creating is l1 and how you are creating this record sets that is varies from the different sources you can just refer it anyway the entire source code is available for you to download the link is at the below at the description so let's just start from our pandas data frame so for that we'll let's just write a code here using pandas data frame as source Okay, now below this first we, what you will do is you will import pandas, import pandas as pd. So we got it. Now the data frame will create in different, you can copy the entire uh, dictionary there and uh, whatever you, you can use. But instead of that, you will read the Excel file and create the data frame. That is the easiest way I found. So df is my data frame I am creating. Now pd dot read excel. Excel. Now, where is my file? That path I am showing now. I am showing it I. Now, this is my I drive it is. So, then the directory name is data. Now, inside that student dot XLS right. So, this is the path I have given. Now, in your case, if you are downloaded it to a different path, then use your path here. So, that accordingly will point to the, your uh, local wherever you have placed. Now let's directly, once I have the data frame, I can create the L1. What is L1? L1 is our list of column headers. So that I am getting. So I am just creating list df. So this gives me the my, my list of the column headers. Now what is my record set or R set? set of records or the data row wise whatever I, I am calling it df I am saying to numpy numpy now again to list so this will give me the entire data that's all this is the only four three lines of code one is import and these three lines of code this will create my two variables here I will say column headers and this is my rows of data so let's just save this and now you can see my so excel is commented csv part here it is also commented now here the common code the tree view whatever it is we are discussed in the part one that uh, this requires two variables only l1 and r set now these two we are introducing now this part of the code is in line with in line in total so other things are 
just commented. So, now let us if it works then it is from the pandas data frame. Let me just save it and run it. Let me sorry the my previous window is open. Let me close this previous window and one sec uh, yeah here it is open again I am closing this and opening again. So, here it is now it has come from my pandas data frame. So, this is how we will get any data frame if you have some other data frame also just create the data frame and use this two line and below the our code common code for tree view. Now, we will connect to MySQL database and take data from there. Before that, let us comment this pandas area. So, we will not use this as data source. I am just removing this part. So, it is here up to this th this much only. So, now this is uh, this part is not executed. You can see our CSV part up to this all are commented. So, CSV now Excel then our uh, pandas data frame all are removed now. So, now let us add MySQL. So, for that MySQL let us just call our SQL alchemy library and then connect to our database for that two lines of code I am just pasting it here. So, this two lines here is the library I am using in fact the same library I will use for SQLite also and here is my my connection to my database user id password it is in my local host and this is my dv name in your case this three will be different definitely so you change that one so you are then you connect it to your database now with this two i am connected to my database now now i will execute the query and get the data so for that i am just using the same name r set r set equal to now create uh, we have already connected to that now same connection my connection just above line we have used it the same my connection I am using execute what it will execute I will give the query now. So, what I am saying it now is select star from student is my student is my table name. So, collect all the data from the student that is what I am saying to this, but here is a it will return me a cursor which is a forward only. So, from this I have to extract two parts first is the keys keys means the headers this is I will get it from the my uh, cursor whatever I get it R set here. So, L 1 this is the one variable I must create with the headers. So, for that I will write it I will create a list of it by taking the keys data. So, R for R in R set dot keys. Now, this one will collect give me the all the column headers this is this is a, in a list I will get. Now, I have to get the row data. So, because I have used in that that so now I have to again create a list using the R set. So, I am using the same name for my because I have to maintain uh, the names are same because everywhere else and finally, my tree view looks for these two here in the common code area you can see this L 1 is connected here and I am using R set to loop and in short and this part has to be a common for whatever the source I am using. So, for that purpose these two variables again I will be using. So, R set here I am equal to now again here I am using R for R r is just a variable only in r set this will instead from the crusher database crusher it, it is changing to a list so now r set is a list of rows of data again each row is i'll will be breaking it we are doing it here inside this you can see here each row uh, we are breaking it to again a list so here that's all now my my sql data is ready i've just saved it ok let us run and see there will not be any difference here because same data same student table this we have taken here now from a from the mysql database. Now, I will do one thing I will change this query see how it reflects here it is the same data. So, student now what I will see is say limit 0 to 5 show me 5 records only here you can see by default uh, or we have set it to height to 8 we have set it that so 8 records but we will we will get 5 records from the database so once you are getting 5 so you will have 3 blank rows or only 5 rows will be displayed then 
nothing will be so you can see only five rows are there this, this is the space is left so according suppose i want some uh, other query the same way the whatever the query i change accordingly the data will be displayed say i told that okay don't send all the columns send only id name class these three columns only id name class you leave out mark and gender you leave these columns because we are dynamically creating the labels here this l1 l1 will again take only these three values so it will change accordingly so let's just run it and see you can see id name class only has come other columns are not come and dynamically this it takes it uh, because of this line number 13 we are creating the list of columns then the data so accordingly it takes it also you can just keep on changing order by in different suppose you want the list to be on the order of the marks so uh, from the st student now here let's say order by mark now mark it, it will increment by default it is ascending order so zero and thing suppose you want to know the highest mark getter should be at the top so we'll say this descending order now let's just run it and see how this gear returns here you can oh sorry we have to give give all the columns because mark column we must see now again i am going back to putting a stars okay so star is there means all bring the all the columns but this time it is in the order of the mark you can see this is in the order of the mark 96 94 90 89 so it is descending order if i'll remove this then this will be a ascending order i am removing this now i am going for again because by default it is ascending order if i am not specifying it is ascending order now we'll move to sqlite so we'll remove this part so i am what i am doing here is i am commenting my sql database part so here up to this point i'll removing this fine so now while go for but note that this uh, library i am kept it outside because for this escalator also i'll be using the same one so but another thing everything in in this also will be same so what i am doing it is i'm just copying this four lines of code here putting it below this i'm i'll write a comment her using fine now i'll paste it here here the only thing line i will be changing it is this line because this is where my i'll rest of the things i'll maintain as same so for that this is create engine now inside that i am going to write sqlite because this is the for sqlite connections i am giving it three now inside this i have to write the path where my sqlite database is there and if you are not created it you create it the initially we have discussed also how you will create the sqlite with sample data so now i am saying i my drive is i so it's the location of the drive if you have in a different then put it in that path so here i am keeping testing this is where my uh, sqlite file is there sqlite this is another directory name only here is my db my underscore db dot db so this is the now rest of the things i'll remove this is only the up to this only the path to the escalate database now here you can see it here and you can my st student table is inside this database so rest of the i am creating the again the record set here execute the query picking up the l1 r set rest three lines remain same only thing is this my connection is different because it was now it is no more mysql database it is here so let's just uh, we'll start from that query itself i saved it now i'm running it see here and it is by default okay whatever we have seen order by mark so it is in the order by mark also because again the query remains the same also it let it be the database remain change also from uh, uh, whatever database the query import remains same so it i got this this numbers now let me just for our satisfaction let me remove this uh, or make it desc or let's try one more thing where we'll add a where condition where class is 4 
4 is a string. So, I had to put the quotes on both the sides. Now, I am saying show me only the uh, students of class equal to 4. So, let us see. See, you can see here all the class column. Here it is only the class 4 data is there. That much records are retrieved, not more. So, here you can see. So, that is all friends. So, these are the uh, we have covered data. So, three data sources in the part two and part one we had already discussed Excel and CSV. So, total five sources we had discussed in this two part uh, series. So, you can utilize it whatever the data you are using and you note that we are dynamically configuring the IDs and rows and all. So, just if your source changes to a some other structure table and all automatically this will take care of it and display accordingly. We'll will also playing around this and creating lot of reports and all using these data and all. So, I will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So, you will be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you have any doubt, suggestion, questions, put it in the comment section below. So, accordingly we will modify it. This is also a because of a question asked by a uh, user. So, he asked how will Pandas data frame can be used. So, we thought let it be all the all the sources. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.